Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, in a recent interview, Scobie declared that he was more than happy to burn my bridges in order to release his book, Endgame, before making a move to the City of Angels, Los Angeles. Now, if that doesn't raise eyebrows, I don't know what will. Some are speculating that this move mirrors Meghan's own trajectory, as she seemingly burned bridges with the royal family and fled to LA in pursuit of what some might call fame and fortune. Scobie, an author with apparent ties to the Sussexes, unleashed his bombshell book worldwide in November. The book, among other things, claims that there is an ongoing war between Prince Harry and King Charles, with Harry usually being the one to extend an olive branch. But here's where the plot thickens. Scobie insists that he's not a mouthpiece or a cheerleader for Meghan and Harry. He states, I always just wanted to be a byline. Now, let's dissect this. Burning bridges to tell a story, or is it a calculated move to gain attention and possibly curry favor with the very subjects he claims to objectively cover? Scobie unabashedly declares that he's perfectly fine with being blacklisted from Buckingham Palace. But is this an act of journalistic bravery, or is it a carefully orchestrated play to position himself as a central figure in the ongoing royal saga? Social media is buzzing with comparisons between Scobie's law relocation and Meghan's own escape to the West Coast. One royal analyst has boldly stated, he's always craved the attention that being Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's one-time preferred outlet gave him, and that is completely evident with his decision to relocate to Los Angeles. Now let's talk numbers. Scobie's book, touted as a royal expose, experienced shockingly low sales. In its first week on the market, it only managed to sell a mere 6,448 copies in the UK. Could it be that the public is growing tired of the never-ending drama surrounding the Sussexes, or is it a sign that Scobie's credibility is waning? As for Scobie's future plans, he claims that his passion has always been in storytelling, whether through writing, podcasts, TV, or documentaries. Conveniently, he finds himself in Los Angeles, a city known for its entertainment industry. Is this a genuine pursuit of passion, or is it a strategic move to align himself with the Hollywood glitz and glam? In conclusion, the Meghan Harry Scobie triangle is becoming even more convoluted. Is Scobie truly an unbiased storyteller seeking the truth, or has he become another player in Meghan and Harry's carefully orchestrated game of narratives? Only time will tell, and we'll be here to dissect every twist and turn. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.